Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor. We usually think of vitamin D as the sunshine vitamin. And while vitamin D is critical to our bodies, I bet you didn't realize it's also critical to your sleep. Some of the latest research suggests that vitamin D can influence both quality and quantity. So I wanna talk about what vitamin D does in your body and why this is one of the most essential vitamins that you're gonna to need to prioritize for overall better sleep. Vitamin D is, believe it or not, a steroid hormone that helps control how cells and organs function. It's produced by the kidneys and controls blood calcium levels as well as your immune system. So this is one of the reasons why we have strong bones and teeth, but it also helps the body from breaking down, supports the immune system, nervous system, as well as muscles, and it's derived, believe it or not, from cholesterol. Now, you're probably thinking, wait a second, my doctor tells me I'm supposed to have low cholesterol. No, that we're not talking about exactly that kind of cholesterol, but it also has a chemical structure that's a little bit different than most other vitamins. So it actually acts like a hormone. It's similar to your adrenal hormones as well as your sex hormones. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't know, there's two types, there's D2 and D3. So D2 comes from foods like egg yolks, because remember cholesterol, saltwater fish, salmon, tuna, cheese, liver, mushrooms, even milk, cereal, things like that can have vitamin D added to them. Because it's fat soluble, Recommendations to eat vitamin D foods or supplement with fat makes a lot of sense. Now, D3 is also available in foods, but it's also produced naturally by your skin when exposed to sunlight. D3 is thought to be a little bit better or more potent than D2. How much sunlight do you need? Maybe five to 10 minutes of sunlight per day is enough. One of my favorite things that I tell a lot of my patients to do, if you're an early bird or a lion in my chronotype world, if you get up before the sun, and you can actually watch the sun rise over the horizon. It's one of the healthiest ways for you to get your vitamin D. But let's say you're in a part of the country or even a part of the world that doesn't have a lot of sunlight. You can actually get vitamin D from supplementation. Vitamin D is probably the most commonly used supplement in the US, and it's also the one I would say I recommend the most to my patient. Now, you gotta be careful. You wanna read the product label very carefully and consult with your healthcare provider about dosage, timing, and duration. Because remember, overusing vitamin D supplements can actually have toxic effects. So a lot of people wanna know how much vitamin D should I get? As people age, their body produces less vitamin D naturally from their skin, so the recommended amount is going to change and it's going to increase. Most people only need 600 international units of vitamin D per day. Those over 70 need more like 800 international units. So how do you know if your vitamin D is even low? Well, number one, you can do a blood test for it. But remember, one in four people have a vitamin D deficiency. Most are not really symptomatic, like they don't feel any differences, but there are some people that can have more risks than others, right? So people with lifestyles that limit their exposure to sunlight, infants who are exclusively breastfed don't get a lot of sunshine. Older adults, we know again, vitamin D production goes down. People with darker skin because the pigment in their skin doesn't necessarily allow for vitamin D production. People with obesity, we know they oftentimes have a vitamin D deficiency. And of course, since vitamin D is made in the kidney, people with kidney or even liver disease can have some problems, as well as people with celiac disease or even Crohn's disease. So what does lack of vitamin D actually make you feel? You feel fatigue, you feel achiness. In many cases, depression, oftentimes hair loss, muscle weakness, loss of appetite. Now, long-term effects of low vitamin D can actually lead to more serious things, cancer, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and like we've mentioned before, depression. So now that you know more about vitamin D than you probably ever have in your life, let's talk about it being a circadian pacemaker and how it affects your sleep. Adults and children with vitamin D deficiencies are much more likely to have delayed bedtimes, less time asleep each night. Also, the quality of the sleep starts to go down. Because why? You're getting more nighttime awakenings. As a general guideline, moreover, people with vitamin D deficiency have a higher risk of developing sleep disorders as a general rule as well. Scientists are still investigating the relationship between vitamin D and sleep, but here are a few theories that we have out there. So first one, vitamin D is a vital part of brain function and a number of vitamin D receptors are in the parts of the brain that involve sleep. So geographically speaking, somewhere in our noggin, that's kind of where they're at. Sunlight actually helps manufacture vitamin D and regulate our circadian rhythm. So limited exposure to sunlight could negatively affect both vitamin D production and a person's sleep-wake cycle. Now remember, melatonin production relies heavily on vitamin D. So can vitamin D actually prevent sleep problems is a, is a big question that a lot of people ask me. And 
Let me be honest with you. Studies have found that vitamin D supplements can improve sleep quality and quantity, but it's highly unlikely if you've got insomnia and you start taking vitamin D that it's going to cure your insomnia. If you have a vitamin D deficiency and you have insomnia, you ain't ever going to get better unless you fix that deficiency. Studies that lasted maybe 10 to 12 weeks were more likely to find an association between vitamin D and better sleep. And studies that lasted six months to five years found a little bit less of a connection, suggesting vitamin D supplements are good short-term solution, solution rather for treating sleep disorders. And vitamin D can reduce the severity of sleep apnea. There's been at least one study to show that. But low levels are linked to more severe cases of obstructive sleep apnea. And overall, a lack of vitamin D is what causes sleep problems, as opposed to using vitamin D to fix existing sleep problems. So I, I want to tell you a little bit about a patient that I had. I won't reveal their name. This was a patient with severe sleepiness and a vitamin D deficiency. We had a 28-year-old female. She had four months of excessive daytime sleepiness. So falling asleep at work, she fell asleep at a couple stoplights, things like that. A standard bedtime somewhere between 10 and 11 o'clock. We had her get up around 7.30. And she reported, generally speaking, sleeping pretty well. No signs of sleep apnea or another sleep disorder, but she reported muscle fatigue and pain as well as headaches. She had a low but normal thyroid, but low levels of vitamin D. So what we did was talked with her physician and they were comfortable actually doing an IV of 50,000 units of vitamin D one time per week. Now that's a big, big dose. So again, this is done via IV through her physician. Guess what? In two weeks, she saw a complete decrease in sleepiness and her fatigue, and she was able to really start to get back into that rhythm of her sleep. Now look, vitamin D is really important for overall health, and it's important for your sleep. I want everybody out there to remember a lack of vitamin D is what causes sleep problems, as opposed to using vitamin D to fix existing sleep issues. But as you might imagine, vitamin D isn't the only vitamin you need for healthy, well-balanced diet or healthy sleep. There are several other key vitamins and minerals that can help you get really great sleep. And I've got a video all about it right here. I think vitamin D is one of the most important vitamins that you can take for not just your sleep, but for your overall health. Do yourself a favor, find opportunities to get as much sunlight as possible because not only will you get vitamin D, but you're also gonna do wonders for your circadian rhythm. This is Dr. Michael Bruce, The Sleep Doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.